We were at the 9 o'clock hour of SmackDown after what I've just described to you. And here came Pablo Escobar to the ring for a promo, and the people now are booing the shit out of him and won't let him talk. Not as much. He's good. Give him his real name. Santos Escobar. He's been good. I'll, I'll shorten him up to Escobar. I don't know about this. Because, again, the people are booing him because he turned on Rey Mysterio. Rey is a beloved individual. But his story of the thing is never meet your heroes. And they started whatting him. And, and he tells a story that his hero was Rey Mysterio and he patterned himself after him and patterned his career after him. And Rey was like a father figure. But after last week, I realized that Dominic was right because I deserved the U.S. title. And who got it? I revived the LWO and who took it over? He's right. Well, but a little bit different. A little bit different. Couldn't that have been somewhat of his intention all along? Is that he knew that he at first he was going to meet and defeat Rey Mysterio to take his goddamn rightful place as the top of the luchadors. But then, remember, their, their one match was fucked up and stopped, and I think the other time Rey beat him. So he could have used that, and, and then... I was almost ready to be the U.S. champion, and Rey Mysterio wins it. The same stuff, but instead of, he was my hero and my idol and like a father figure to me, I was always better. I was always, I knew that Rey was breaking down and his time was coming, and I should have had all this, but one way or another, he weaseled out of it. Well, finally, I got even, I don't know, whatever the fuck. I like Escobar when he speaks Spanish. It sounds like he means it. I have no idea what he's saying, but he has more conviction than when he's speaking English. But anyway, so the last straw was Ray siding with the outsider, Carlito, over Escobar. And in the, the good stuff he did say is, I hope... <laughs> He didn't say, I hope you flatline on the way to the hospital, but he's a Ray, you're in the hospital. I hope you don't make it. I hope they have to amputate your leg. <laughs> that was great. And then Zelina came out and argued with Escobar and slapped the shit out of him. It looked quite stiff. And then the rest of the LWO were there to comfort her, and they headed to the ring and argued with Escobar. And he kicked him out of the ring, said, get out of here. And when they turned to leave, he attacked them and beat both of them up. And then Carlito came out and Escobar bailed out. So now Escobar is a full-fledged heel without a country there. And the other two loser world orders are kind of fodder. And the, the issue is going to be Carlito. And again, if this is what they saved Carlito back for when they were going to sign him after the Puerto Rico thing, and then they, well, they did sign him, but they didn't debut him. This is a good advance forethinking. But yeah, it's all this is all drama. There's nothing fucking going on we, we really want to see in the ring, but who's on whose side? And why are they mad at each other? We know. The way it went down doesn't make much sense, but I've liked the way Escobar has done. I like I like his work here. Uh the last few months I have. You have to wonder if Ray's really hurt. If he's hurt worse than I thought he was. If maybe things got rushed a little bit or moved around or things didn't happen exactly how they had planned out. Well, that might be possible. But nevertheless... I uh, like Escobar here, but again, yeah. he's the heel. He's telling the truth. How's he the Shit. heel? What did he say that's a lie? Well, the thing is, no, but it's the way he's... I don't have much problem with that. It's the way that he has interpreted it and the way that it, you know, that he's... It's the context of the thing. All along, Ray didn't mean to do those things the way they happened. It wasn't like it was something he was doing on purpose. They kept it to where, you you know, you can see where Escobar and, and every, when a baby face turns heel, they do need to have some kind of reason or incident that's legitimate to them and then the, we heard Lance Russell say it a million times, oh, come on, you're taking it the wrong way, Tojo, or whatever. It's got to mean something to them. It's got to be obvious to them, and other people don't see it that way because it didn't really happen that way, but they take it that way. That's the bone of contention. I don't mind that. Um, 
Uh, you know, I think Escobar and Cal Carlito, if they just get the other two somewhere else, because the group got so fucking big and those guys are just flunkies anyway. I think if they keep it with Carlito and Escobar and then Ray can come back at some point, they they'll have something there. But it's drama. It's soap opera. As long as they stay away from the ring and the WWE, they're making a, a fucking mint. Speaking of staying away from the ring, Grayson Waller beat Cameron Grimes. What were you going to say? Nothing of importance. Well, that's normal, but I thought I'd give you the opportunity. Ah, come on. I'm just grumpy today. So then Bailey's bunch beat up Zelina in the back. <laughs> 